Hello, hello. I want to talk real quickly about creating by default, and I myself am guilty of this too. You know, I talk about creating reality. I talk about thoughts become things, but I want to share this little story with you all because even when you're when you become conscious to be a conscious creator, you you you. <laughs> It's like you magnetically draw things to you really, really fast when you're creating, when you're used to it, doing it, right? And so the other day I was at the grocery store and prior to this day, I had kept saying, having the thought because I haven't been carrying my purse. I haven't been carrying my purse. I had been carrying two of my cell phones in my hand and I kept having the thought, man, I hope I don't lose my phone. And this day when I went to the grocery store, I had that thought, I said, I'm gonna lose this phone in my mind. And I know better than to be thinking negative thoughts. I teach you all better than that, right? So in trying to prevent, this is how I created resistance, and trying to prevent losing the phone, I said, okay, I'm gonna put my phone in the bottom of the basket while I fi finish buying the things that I need. So I put my cell phones, both of them, in the bottom of the basket and I had like honeydew melons and cantaloupe and all kinds of different things that I was purchasing. And um, when I went to self-checkout, I grabbed the little plastic bags that be at the self-checkout, but I grabbed more than one. And so I had an empty plastic bag, so I threw it in the back of my basket too. So now I'm outside, I'm packing, unpacking the things that I purchased in the store. And they had a silver uh, BM, not BMW, Mercedes Benz that came down the wrong way, right? Came down the lane the wrong way. And I turned around and I'm looking at who these people are because it was like an awkward position that they called was in, but you know, blocking my car actually from coming out. So I'm looking at the people, I'm trying to get all my honeydew melons and stuff, trying to grab stuff, and I forgot to grab one of my cell phones. And so, I thought I had all of my things. I get in the car and the man, it was a lady that was driving and the man that was on the passenger seat in this other car. The man came out of the car to grab my basket that I was using that my cell phone was in. And so I'm in my car and I'm looking at him touching the basket. I'm looking at him looking at the basket and I'm looking at his energy. His energy, his face showed that I had left something in the car. By reading his, I mean, in the basket, by reading his energy, his energy was wobbly, like, right? His energy looked like he was trying to hide something, right? And I could see his energy, and I know people's energy when I see it. <laughs> and so my inner being immediately at that time told me, you left something in the basket. But me looking at the basket, because I had put it like right in front of my car, me looking at the basket, I'm thinking my inner being is saying that I left an empty bag in the basket, the empty bag that I had grabbed at self-checkout. And so I thought nothing up it. and I said to myself, no, I didn't leave anything in the basket. So I pulled off and I went home, right? I get home and I realized that I left my cell phone near that bag, that empty bag that was in the basket and everything made sense then. The energy of the man made sense and everything, but I couldn't blame the man. You see, this is what I want you to get. I couldn't blame the man on this here because those were my thoughts. I created that. I had been thinking, oh, I'm gonna lose my phone because I don't carry my purse no more. And I used to keep my, my both of my phones in my purse. I created that. Even that day, I sat there in my thoughts saying, I'm gonna lose my phone. And I know better, I teach you all this. And so in losing my phone, I mean, everybody be like, oh, you could get another phone. But the thing about it that, that, that really I'm talking to you all about is the fact that I lost a lot of memories that was on that particular phone that day, right? Oh, thank you for the heart. That's so beautiful. I lost a lot of memories. I lost memories in that moment of when I used to speak on panels at church. Well, I still do. But the ones when I first started, you know, when I first started opening my mouth from being the introvert that I used to be. I lost those memories. I lost memories of redoing my house. I lost the memories of me retiring, memories of my family, because I hadn't had that phone for so long. It wasn't the fact that the cell phone SIM was holding this. It's that I had like a backup memory card in this phone that I would save all of my videos to, like, right? All of my um, accomplishments, so to speak, when I did early retirement, even when this here house was being built, the pictures that the builders were sending me back home, you know, the remodels, everything, right? And so I said to myself, you know, after I lost the phone or left the phone or created leaving the phone, I said, well, 
Maybe it's my way of saying, okay, this is new beginning and it is time to create new memories. So I release the resistance and I stop being hard on myself that I, even though my inner being was telling me, look, you leave in something, even though my inner being was showing me through that man's emotions that, hey, something's in this basket that doesn't belong to me and I ignored all that. I decided not to be hard on myself. Just like I teach you all to be easy on yourself. You know, because you're creating, here's the thing, you either creating by default or you being a conscious creator. So that right there <laughs> is really was me creating by default. That wasn't me being a conscious creator because if I was being conscious, I would have been conscious of that man energy. I would have been, be, even before then, I would have been conscious of the fact that I was telling myself that I'm about to lose my phone. Well, why would I speak that into existence? If I was really being conscious, I would have been conscious when my inner being said, hey, you leaving something in the basket. Where you think you're going? You're leaving something behind. But I missed the mark. And sometimes that happened. And I'm just being transparent with that thing because I don't want it to be presented as if I am coming to you all, as if I am so perfect and my thoughts are so pure all the time. Sometimes I too create things that, that I don't want by default. And that's okay. Just learn how to be easy on yourself and clear that energy and to allow every new experience to flow to you consciously because you need to get back into the momentum of realizing that you're a conscious creator. It's almost like when we were younger and we fell off the bike. You just get back up and you begin to paddle once again and, and realize that all things are working out for you. So now, now I do the little backup thing now, little to the clouds and all that stuff that I never used to want to do. Now I'm more responsive about, you know, paying attention about where I'm putting my phone down. You know, you learn lessons along the way and it's just going to make you greater and better. But on a side note, before I end this little live, I'll see what y'all saying in the comments. On a side note, between me and all 12 of y'all out there, if y'all see some pictures of me, <laughs> You know how people be getting people phone and leaking stuff. Now, let me tell y'all ahead of time. Y'all my true supporters because y'all stay through me babbling. Let me tell you. If y'all see some leaked pictures of me out there, because I love me some me now. Now, I done did some things on my phone, on my phone for me, by myself in my little room. So, if y'all see me out there with some little boy shorts on or whatever, be my supporter. Because that's that man that stole my phone. <laughs> y'all better, better know that I didn't post that. <laughs> The man that stole my phone, that got my memory card out there, he going through my stuff and y'all go get them for me. Y'all be going get them carrots. Y'all be going get them carrots. Go get Y'all find out who posted that and say, say, bro, you the one. You the man that was at that basket. She told me about your ass. <laughs> she told me about you, bro. Just give the girl a phone back. You know, she trying to inspire people out here. You looking at her little, you know. A little private pictures. I mean, you saw them already, bro. Just go ahead and give the girl her memory card back. <laughs> you know her address. You know everything about her. Go ahead on, man. She she good. She good. So y'all speak up for me. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see what y'all said. Hey. Hey, Move. I see you up in there. Hey, Dreamy. Hey, Dreamy. Yes, yes, yes. Peace, goddess. Hey. Thank y'all for being here. Thoughts over thoughts. Peace, peace to you too, babe. But I just wanted to really share. Hey, Crooked Dog. Crooked Dog. What kind of username? That is too funny. Hey, Trey. Where you been at? Trey, you been working overtime? <laughs> I see you on here in a long time. A long time. Hey, Gen X. I got to link up with you, Gen X. We got to do something on that list for the black, because you here, right? You the lady that live in Arizona, right? Because you remember I posted a video about the little, you know, uh, black places that I found, that uh, Sugar Jam place out there in um, Scottsdale. Yeah, somebody in those comments gave me all kind of little cool places. We got to find some, some cool places out here, some good food and stuff. Dreamy said ain't nothing wrong with that. Little boy shorts. Yeah, Trey, I have my little boy shorts on. You know, because I love me. I teach y'all self-love. I teach y'all self-concept. And nobody ain't gonna want you if you don't want yourself, right? So I, I got I'm in a position where I want me. 
And I'm proud to say it on TikTok, God darn it. I want me. You got to want yourself first for anybody out there in your physical reality to go want you and desire you. So, yeah, I do that. I, I'm telling y'all, I practice what I teach. I use my human imagination. I role play and everything. I be a little kid. I be a little freak. I be a little sexy. I be a little funny. I be whatever it is that I want to be. It just depends upon the time of the day. In a couple of minutes, I'm about to be a little athletic lady. I'm about to go to the gym and get on that cycling machine and, and, and be some muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Trey, you would catch that. So Trey said, "Little boy shorts, huh?" <laughs> and you better, you better tell him where to bring the uh, the memory card, Trey. Not to you. Bring it to me. I want my memory card. <laughs> but nah, the memories are embedded in my mind, so it was fun while it lasted. Mister Basket Man, yeah, that's that's him, Mister Basket Man. That's too funny. <laughs> yeah okay she said okay i'm down yeah yeah keep me posted on that because um i love to hang out i'm retired so i'll be looking for fun things to do self-love is the greatest you write about that thoughts over thoughts it really is you gotta love yourself you gotta love yourself both sides of yourself your yin and your yang your masculine your feminine you know you're up and you're down your bare face and when you put your makeup on, you know, your joggers, and when you have that dress on, you know, whatever state of being you're in, love yourself because all is God having a human experience. Yeah, yes, I recently started taking pictures in my phone, so I understand what you're saying, dreaming. Oh my, man, I have pictures and videos of myself in just different outfits and stuff in different positions of the camera just wanting to look at me and admire me. You know, like, you know, I was married for in, in in relationships for long, long times, you know. And I feel like women, we really need to know how to please ourselves first. We really need to know how to love on ourselves first. Even giving our own self orgasm, even mentally stimulating our own self, just doing everything, being able, being in a position where you're able to do all of these things first for yourself. Because if you don't know how to do these things for yourself, how can you expect a man to fulfill you in any other kind of way? How do you know if that man is doing it like unpleasing to you or out of alignment than what you would do to you? So I'm a firm believer in that. I believe that we actually are our own twin flame. You know how people be out there be looking for twin flames and stuff? And oh, I gotta find them. I wonder if he's that person or she's that person. No, first of all, you're your twin. <laughs> First of all, you got to find a union with yourself because the twin flame dynamic is really you meeting you and embracing all of you, the totality of you, you understanding yourself, you getting to know yourself, you at your highest state of being. And then when you finally get there and you're in union with yourself, you and the father becoming one, then you have to run into your reflections out here. You have to, it's law. Everybody out here going to be a reflection of you. And so I'm a believer in that. So. That's what I do in my life. I don't know if y'all not doing that with y'all, then that's okay too. But I'm on a journey of fulfilling me, being happy with me, enjoying me, loving me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would have to get a peek at the pictures first, Trey said. Yeah, I know you would. I saved a couple of them, but just as long as I get the memory card back. This is, uh, I'm going I'm to go into meditation and see, because um, I know the man probably, the man probably I got following me and everything, looking at everything that I'm posting, like, posting, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he probably got the, mm -hmm. she telling him all about consciousness, but I wonder if she told him she'd be doing all that there. <laughs> man, let me stop creating, man. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> That's funny. I agree. A man shouldn't have to. Wait, I lost that. Wait, wait. I agree. A man shouldn't have to touch a woman. To teach a woman how to please herself. Yeah. Yeah. You, she, he shouldn't. That's her job first. But oftentimes we don't know ourselves just yet. When we get in those relationships, you know, those premature relationships where we don't know ourselves. And so we're looking for that person to know everything about us first everything and that's not that other person's job that's your job so i'm doing my job yeah that's the point of communication and going through the process of getting to know yeah it really is hey beautiful st louis 
Hey, Jesse. Thank you for being here, Jesse. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm so serious, yeah. Y'all laughing, but I'm serious. So many of our sisters have colonized via J. Yeah, they got a learning. Re yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I know you could preach on that on that level because look at your name. Thoughts over thoughts. Yeah, definitely so. But it often, it often kind of like, because I consult with a lot of those people too. It often be a lot of people that, you know, have like programs that I guess they still haven't worked on, rewriting, you know, looking for love or attention in the wrong places, you know. And so we all going to get there. We all going to get there. Some of us are on little slow buses, but... Even if we have to go through different men, per se, it comes a point in our life where we get tired. Where we get tired, even if it's not this lifetime, you know, we, we get so tired of it to next lifetime, we don't, we don't even want to deal with anybody that's on that particular frequency no more, you know? It's almost like them little babies that come out, you know, um, maybe already preaching or already vegans or whatever. Because in last lifetime, they, they had already experienced something maybe that was not too appeasing to them and they're like next lifetime i'm gonna do something different and then it's thought out just firm vegans like mommy mommy why are we eating the animals you know they done been through some things <laughs> yeah you might have to turn it in to the it might have no i went to the manager i went there back in the store i went there i went there actually two times so he ain't turned it in. Mm -mm, I tried that. Erica, if I do, I guess I see you next lifetime. Yeah, that's IV. No hard feelings. Yeah, yeah, Mr. T. I wish he had done that, but I'm going to focus on creating new memories and I'm going to focus on being more of a conscious creator than to do that because I know better. I know better, but I just want to be transparent with that experience because. Um, Actually, I didn't even realize how much those memories, like how I was attached to those memories. And it could be very well a lesson to teach me about the attachments of the memory and just knowing that I, I need to release that, you know, because at the same time, when I looked in this particular phone, which is the only phone that I have now, when I looked in it and I scrolled back to like the first picture and that was actually of um, of, of this here particular um house being built and the last Christmas that I spent in New Orleans with my family and my mom and stuff and when I saw that in this phone because I didn't realize I had any pictures and videos in this phone I cried I cried and I was like oh my gosh I have a picture of my mom you know because because all of my pictures of my mom and my family was in the other phone and I cried and I realized that I was really just holding on to those memories i had so many attachments to those memories because those memories meant accomplishments for me but that don't mean that don't mean that i can't accomplish any other things on this phone that don't mean that i can cre not create great memories all over again and so it really just gave me you know the kind of like courage or more ambition to kind of create more things and more content and be greater so i can have some memories all over again because i don't have many things at all in this phone and for the people who support me and you know that i have your number or whatever and you're watching me in the back if, if you know me from back home or whatever i ain't call you because i don't have your number so call me <laughs> i ain't acting funny i don't have i have four numbers in my phone now and I'm, I'm just not acting funny i just lost all of my contacts and everything but i'm just fine, trying to be in a place like i teach and find the good create more memories learn from my mistakes because i never get this thing called life wrong and you who knows i might get mailed my memory card who knows i'm just released even if i don't if i release the resistance and create more memories and let that go things will still be working out for me but i came here today to show you that me too sometimes i create by default in my shitty thoughts this is real my your i'm not trying to be hard on anybody on any of my videos because sometimes people will unfollow me because that truth 
they can't stand it. Some people don't want to be accountable, so they'll unfollow me because they don't want to hear the truth. But this is law. And if we all be in collective consciousness, we'll tune ourselves and pay more attention to our thoughts, then we can be, do, or have anything that we want in the physical reality. But we gotta be in tune. We gotta not be ignoring our inner being, our inner self, how we feel, because it really matters. And we gotta stop thinking those thoughts that are working against us. Because now I don't be thinking, oh, I'm gonna lose my phone. I ain't losing no phone. You know, now I, I carry my purse and I got my little backup cloud thingy that I didn't want because in my mind, okay, don't judge me. In my mind, you know, they tell you, well, why you didn't back it up to the um, to the cloud or whatever? And I'm a little, I guess I'll be showing my age when I say this story. I'm a little old school in that way because I'm like, no, I'm not putting none of my information in no cloud. Who are they in the cloud? The person in the cloud is going to know all my information, so they don't need to know it either. So now the man at the store got it, and I wish the people in the cloud did have my stuff so they could at least give it back to me. <laughs> so, but now, I'm, look, whoever in the cloud, I'm backing up my memory and all of that, and I learned my lesson. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm so serious, that's it. Okay, let me see. He said he might serve it in. I read that one already, okay, okay. Yep, that's what I was thinking when you did that. The test didn't look like we used to. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So I just wanted to be uh, transparent here and share that with you all. I'm about to go work out again. But like I said, y'all my real ones. So support me if you ever see me out there with little boy shorts on you know i didn't do that on purpose that's that man y'all go after his ace and, and, <laughs> and get my memory card anyway this video was from my heart to yours baby y'all be blessed and remember to be a conscious creator and do not create by default bye babe